Hi there. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do data recovery on your Mac. If you need to recover files that were accidentally erased or uh, deleted from the recycle bin, data that's been lost due to a corrupt drive, or just files that have gone missing, um, don't freak out. It is possible to get those files back as long as you use Mac data recovery software. Uh, the only thing is you need to act quickly although the files are still on your uh, hard drive, they can be overwritten at any time. So I recommend that you use software to recover it as soon as possible. So what we're going to do first is go to the website www.recovering-deleted-files.net or simply click the link in the description box below. And here is the website. Uh, it's important that we're going to scroll down and select Mac Data Recovery right here. For those of you who click the link in the description box, that will bring you directly to this page. And then we're going to scroll down and click Download. And this is going to download, and uh, next you're going to install the software. I already have the software, so I won't be doing this step, but simply follow the instructions. And here is the software. Uh, first thing we're going to click is recover data and that's going to bring up a whole bunch of different options. Now this is really going to depend on um, what you need to recover and how you're doing it. Uh, I usually like to do quick recovery first. It's by far the fastest and uh, you can see if it's going to recover your data that way. Um, you can change this based on if you want to do photo recovery or iPod recovery. Raw recovery is more or less like a last ditch effort if um, none of these other recovery options work. Uh, also I want to show you a quick thing in the preferences. Um, if you do only want to recover say photos you can actually select which types of photos you want to recover. This will really cut down on the um, how long it takes for the uh, scan to, uh, to go along. You can also change to uh, audio, select you know, if you just want to recover your MP3s, if you want to recover your videos, if you just want to recover certain types of documents, I would highly recommend um, selecting these in the preferences if you're just recovering certain types of files. So for the sake of time, we're just going to select uh, quick recovery because that's the fastest. And you just want to select your hard drive here and then click the next arrow button here. And here are the results. Uh, these are all the files that were, were recovered through the quick recovery option. I like to organize them by clicking here and that way you can select if you want to recover the videos, text files, photos, audio, whatnot. Uh, say you're just looking for a specific file, you can go inside and um, look for it. These are all JPEGs. If you want to recover one of these, you just click here and then click the recover button here and that will recover the file. One thing to keep in mind is that um, you want to recover the files to a directory that is on a different hard drive from the one you're currently on. So if you have an external hard drive you could plug that in. If you have a second hard drive on your computer you want to recover to that one because the software might not let you recover to the same drive that you're, you're scanning. Um, that's basically all there is to it. If uh, the files you're looking for aren't here, I recommend trying one of the other recovery options like deleted file recovery, formatted media, media lost file recovery, or raw recovery in the, other, in the, uh, the previous options. Just keep in mind it's going to take a long time to scan, so you can either select uh, which files you want to recover or just scan overnight, scan when you don't have to use your computer for a while because it might take uh, several hours. So that's all there is to it. Um, if you need to do data recovery on your Mac, I highly recommend using Mac data recovery software uh, and then scanning your computer with quick recovery or any one of these options until you're able to recover the data that, that you need back. And visiting the website www.recovering-deleted-files.net or just clicking the direct link in the description box below, you can get a uh, free scan and see if it finds anything. 
So once again, just type in that address or click the link in the description box, try it out and see if it helps. Okay, good luck.